So technically, your master's is done under five thousand uh, dollars. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, what is up everyone? Welcome to another video. Finally, cybersecurity video is here. I know a lot of you have been asking me to make videos on different career field other than just project management, computer science. So here it is. In this video, we have a guest. His name is Apurva. He's doing his master's from Georgia Tech. And he recently got internship at UC Berkeley. That's kind of very cool. Like always, I'll put the timestamps on the video so you can skip to any part of the video you want to. In this video, we focus on his profile, his bachelor's, everything. Why did he choose Georgia Tech? And the big part of this video is his tuition fees got waived off and is how he got the TA job and all of that. Apurva, if you're watching this, thank you so much for doing this. Very grateful to have you on our channel. And it means a lot for our UD squad community and everybody else. I'm also very grateful for all the love you guys have been showing me and commenting and messaging me. Thank you so much. Please keep doing it if you haven't subscribed consider subscribing lots and lots of value in this podcast in this kind of episode i hope you enjoy the conversation now thank you apurva for doing this this means a lot to me i know audience is going to love this yeah i mean thank you for having me i i really wanted to talk to you like in person about this but due to the lockdown things yes. i yes. hope someday to meet you but yeah thank you thank you I, for having me Yes, I can't wait for you to either come to California or me come to your area <laughs> yeah. and meet you. All right, so before we get into anything, let's do a quick intro for people who don't know you. <laughs> yeah, sure. So, my name is Apoor Singh Gautam. I am from Varanasi, Uttar Pradesh. I did my bachelor's from Symbiosis Institute of Technology in Pune. And just after my bachelor's, I came here for doing my master's in cybersecurity. Uh, currently, I'm at Georgia Tech, Atlanta, and this is my second semester. I mean, it's over, so I, yes. I did two semesters here. Yes. How do you How do you like uh, so far, like uh, two semesters? I mean, it's been good, like really good. Yeah. I mean, uh, what I expected, it's same, similar to that. So yeah, it's yeah. it's really good. Awesome. So obviously, you know, we want to know more of your profiles just for people understanding that, giving that perspective so people can relate to you more. What was your GRE score, TOEFL score and bachelor's and, and did you have work experience? Uh, so so tell us that. Uh, yeah, so, so I my GRE was 304 and uh, Quants was 161 and Verbal 143. My TOEFL was 102. Uh, at the time of applying, my GP was around 8.8 .8 or 8.7 and I had uh, 8 months internship, I suppose. Uh, yeah, yeah I, at that time I had 8 months internship. And is that, that internship was relevant to your... Uh, yeah, it was it was in security, cyber security. In cyber security. And uh, also I had one research paper at the time of applying. Got it, okay. Yeah, and so how many colleges did you apply to? Uh, I applied to eight colleges and got admits from five. Uh, the eight were uh, one was Georgia Tech, another CMU, uh, Rochester Institute of Technology, uh, Northeastern University, University of Maryland College Park, uh, UTD, USF, that's University of South Florida. I think yeah, that's it. And I got all fancy colleges, man. <laughs> All like top ranking colleges you got. Uh, that's awesome. So what made you choose a Georgia Tech then? Uh, well, I, I was comparing between Georgia Tech, Northeastern and University of uh, Maryland College Park and also Rochester. Like I never imagined I will get in Georgia Tech with 304 score. So I was not including that. So before that, it was three colleges, RIT, U University of Maryland College Park and Northeastern. But when I got into Georgia Tech, then I got four to compare between. So I looked at many different aspects like professors, what kind of pro like research they are doing. So my whole background was in research. I wanted to go to US to do research in security. So. I was looking at professor's profile also, how what research they do and other things. So 
Georgia Tech was like it. Uh, the research I did in my bachelor's, there were professors who did who were, who were doing research there on that topic. So that's why I chose Georgia Tech. Got it. And and you know what what's your major in? Because I I, I think I I forgot to ask you that. <laughs> uh, so in bachelor's it was information technology, and here it's MS in cyber security. Okay. Uh, and uh, cyber security. So did you? Have a specific reason why did you choose cybersecurity and not computer science with cybersecurity? Uh, well, so like uh, there's a difference. So if uh, there's uh, one is MS in cyber MS in CS with specialization in cybersecurity, and the other one is MS in cybersecurity. So the thing is, I always wanted to just learn cybersecurity. I mean, I I had basic knowledge like I did bachelor's four years in information technology. So. That's why I didn't want to do CS subjects and like there are many people who do CS, MS and CS with a specialization because they want to keep their options open everywhere. Right. But I didn't want that. I just wanted to focus on one part. That's right. why I chose MS and cybersecurity. You knew exactly what you want and you were like very dead on yeah. focused on, on cybersecurity and that's yeah. your passion. So yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah got it. Uh, let's talk about fees for Georgia Tech because uh, what what are the fee structure for Georgia Tech? Uh, so tuition fees for one year is I think thirty somewhere around thirty to thirty five thousand dollars. Okay. And uh, living that's the tuition part. The living fee. So I mean, and you say thirty 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 five thousand. Yeah. So roughly two years is seventy thousand. Yeah. Wow, that's a lot of money, buddy. Like you are like big party. <laughs> Yeah. No, no, it's just, I mean, uh, like my senior saying, you uh, get uh, TA easily. So that's why it was like, and also uh, if I compare it to the other universities like RIT, it was one year only 48,000. So that's why. <laughs> that makes sense. Got it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So let's talk about living cost. So I live off campus and uh, like Atlanta is not very cheap. Uh, I would say not very costly also like NY and SF so uh, my I mean I live with my roommate so we have two BHK and four people and uh, my rent a uh, rent plus living a uh, rent plus food etc it costs around thousand I mean 900 to 1100 per month okay yeah. wow so that's still uh, yeah so that's, that's yeah that is expensive. I mean, uh, eleven hundred. That's a lot of money. And mine was like roughly around four fifty. <laughs> and plus my personal bedroom. So yeah, yeah that's yeah, that's something but, you. But yeah, tech man. I mean, that's, that's a very branded college. So of course. Uh, so you, I know you mentioned a little bit about TA. So let's get into that part. Uh, like, what are what about the on-campus job opportunities? Are there? On, on campus job opportunities for international uh, so yeah before coming here i looked on their website and all so there were many uh, like uh, dining jobs uh, everywhere in us uh, apart from that uh, there are many jobs related to web development and other it things on, on campus yeah yeah on campus yeah, yeah. okay uh, like uh, th- my friend my roommate he was doing some kind of data management job in library wow so, yeah, there are different kinds. So, and the pay starts from like for dining jobs, it's around uh, nine point five to ten dollar per hour. And I saw the web development was twenty five dollar per hour. So that was what? Yeah. yeah. Oh my God, <laughs> that is. Uh, I mean, it goes up to twenty five. So it's. Wow. <laughs> that is wow. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean. Uh, that's that's crazy. That's a that's a very good. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, I, I mean, yeah. I I know that that's gonna be special cases. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's a special case. Yeah, I, I don't. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what well, what about you? Do you have any on campus? Uh, yeah. So I mean, I I didn't want to go for dining jobs. Uh, not because it's not good. Uh, because our seniors told us to like. Uh, in first semester, you will get too busy around. Like, there's so much to do. So just focus on like your studies because it will you will be overwhelmed by how much projects you get. So I didn't want to go there. Also, I had research in my mind. So I wanted to do some kind of research. I mean, not paid research, like just research yeah. uh, with some professor. So I, I, I approached the professor and she liked my work and she offered me a TA. 
so that's how i got a ta there it's so awesome so how did how did that i'm very interested in knowing that how did that conversation go like what what how did you approach her what was your tactic so uh, before coming like i uh, shortlisted one or two professors to mail them about the research opportunities but obviously they didn't reply me before and when i reached here uh, i uh, we got a mail like everyone in cs i think or cyber security got a mail like this professor is looking for some students to do research under her so i mailed her i mailed her my resume and she looked at it and it was the same similar kind of work that i did uh, she was also looking for that so uh, she called me like uh, come here let's talk and i went uh, just i mean i didn't had uh, anything in my mind like ta or ra i just wanted to do some kind of research under her so we talked like uh, i told her about my project she told her what she is looking for and uh, what you will do, like what i will do if i am selected and then after that she like she asked like do you need any funding i mean i didn't expect this, this question so first of all i said uh, no i mean i'm not looking for funding i was just looking for research then she said i mean if you're looking for funding i can offer you a ta then i said yes i mean <laughs> <laughs> so uh, that is uh, so cool um what's what's the you don't have to tell me what's your salary range but just give us a range like you know what's the range for ta uh, position so uh, at, uh, at for ta position it's something between 900 to 1000 and i think for ra it's 1400 dollar like per month per per month per month yeah yeah so okay. it's 900 to 1000 per month and for ra it's around 1400 okay okay and, and uh, tuition is waived off tuition is waived off thank you apurva for uh, joining back because i was editing our video and i saw noticed that you said your tuition fees is waived off and i didn't pay attention at the time we were recording it and i skipped to through the next question and i was like wait a minute what does it mean by tuition fees is waived off so that's why i called you to ask you like what do you mean by that uh, yeah so it's basically like uh, whenever you get a ta or an ra uh, your tuition like the tuition uh, it, so there are two parts in the fees so one is tuition and the other are like some taxes student fee sports fee etc so the majority is a, is a tuition so that tuition part so if i call, if i like talk about my college so the, uh, for a particular time the fees is supposed 17500 so the tuition fees part is something 15500 so that is waived off so wow. you basically yeah so you basically pay like 1100 1200 per sem 1100 per semester which means uh, you have four semester that's that's like 11 11 11 11 so that's about 4400 and your living cost is basically covered from your stipend which is 9000 900 to 1000 yes. thing around that so technically your masters is done under $5000 uh, yeah <laughs> that's it's like basically less than my bachelor's your masters <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> that is so cool how how many how many students do you think get uh, this uh, ta jobs or uh, ra jobs uh, how many students if you, if you have to guess a number so it's i mean they, like for georgia tech it's high because there are many online courses like mm-hmm. really like many many online courses here so <laughs> i think if i if i would guess like in a class of 30 10 above 10 would get wow. it i think. if if 30 people enroll in more than 10 people are getting their masters done under 5000 kind yeah kind of so people if you're watching this and if you are inspired to get your done masters under $5000 here's your ticket how to get it <laughs> and he also explains how i mean obviously if you watched the entire video you you already know how he gets the uh, ta uh, job so this is cool i mean it's very inspiring because a lot of people complain like oh i i don't i don't have money and you know you are privileged you got your masters and but look at this example right here like getting masters done under 5000 dollars so inspiring i'm so glad i called you back to explain this part so people now understand what do you mean by tuition fees waived off yeah so, yeah thank you thank you for having me again 
Yes, I'm so glad we, are do- we did this. Now I'll, I'll let them watch the entire other part of the video. So I'll, I'll let them enjoy that one. We'll talk again. Aram sir. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> okay. What, what do you do as a teaching assistant? Like, what's your role? So, uh, I was, uh, for first semester, I was teaching assistant for online courses. So, I mean, I don't know about other colleges, but Georgia Tech has a huge number of online courses and huge students. Uh, like, per course, it's 600 students. So uh, they need like 10 to 11 TAs for online courses. So I was TA for online courses and there we had to uh, like grade projects and uh, I, I think uh, solve doubts like uh, related to uh, different projects. Yeah. 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 And if you are uh, like uh, this second semester, I was uh, TA for on campus. So for on campus, we have to ho- hold like uh, we have to go to college and reserve a space and then like hold the doubt session there so it's kind of that and also create quiz questions create projects so these type of work nice that is uh, i mean that's a good experience actually yeah yeah did, did this is funny question the off track uh, did ever happen that student is bribing you for grades um, <laughs> no I, no i didn't experience any such thing <laughs> i was like oh you, you, you bribe him <laughs> Hey, if you give me a grade, I'll take you to movies. <laughs> no, but I mean, many students do like request you a lot, like a lot. But yeah, yeah, yeah. no one ever bribed. Right, right. So let's talk about cybersecurity. Like. Hmm.